Hello and welcome to my next installment of how to make a submachine gun in Blender. Now we are using the example of the scorpion machine gun in this as mentioned in the previous episode. So let's hop right into it. In this episode we're going to be working on the basic upper receiver shape and the trigger. Now let's start with the upper receiver. This can be a little bit tricky um, to some people, but I'm going to try and simplify this to make it as easy as possible. So, um, the way what we're going to do first, at this point, we can add a mirror. Actually, we'll do that. At, let's do the trigger first. Let's focus on this. So, let's go ahead and create new object. So, just go into object mode and then deselect your current object and add a new cube. Let's move that over here. You can go back into wireframe and edit mode and scale this down. Now you're just going to bring the cube up inside the gun right here. And what we're going to do is just select this bottom part right here. Just remember vertice. Select that bottom area. And we are just going to scale here. We want to make sure, okay, when you scale in this perspective, you want to make sure you're scaling on the X axis. Because if you scale just regularly, you're scaling the, the face down on all axes, and that's not what we want. So you want to scale down on just the X axis so that it just changes in one direction instead of both. So let's go ahead move this a little bit more into position. Click this bottom edge. Let's scale it back up on the x-axis a little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just as close as you can. And again, let's keep going. And all we're doing is just extruding and moving it down. Same thing as we did with the uh, with the handle, pretty much, or the trigger guard, rather. <clears throat> So again, scale, X, let's rotate that a little bit. Same thing, extrude, rotate, scale. And really just mess with it um, to get the best look, whatever, whatever looks best to you. Or just match the reference as closely as possible. That tends to, whoops, that tends to work the best. Okay, scale the x-axis a little bit. When you scale it down, you might need to rotate a little bit. That's fine. Okay, now we have the basic silhouette shape of our trigger. And it's not centered right now. We're going to fix that in just a second. But let's go into the, whoops. You can go into a solid object mode for this. Might be a tad easier. And for this, okay, we're actually going to move this object out just a little bit so we can work on it. So go to edit mode, select all these side faces. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Scroll these side faces. I messed up for a second. Go back up here. I'm going to scale it on the Y axis. To make it skinnier and there we go so all we're gonna do now just go back into object mode and scroll up in your N in your uh, N menu so press N to bring that up and close it and on the Y coordinates here under the location you just want to set that to zero and then it'll center it perfectly just like so and now you have <clears throat> pretty pretty decent looking trigger um, as a separate object. Now, let's get started on the basic upper receiver, which is right up, which is going to belong obviously right up here in this area. So what we're going to start off by doing is selecting all the upper faces 
and we're just going to do a quick extrude and then s extrude but don't move it anywhere and we're just going to scale it out so we're going to scale it out on the y axis so the sides are coming out just a little bit just like so you move it up just a tad because you see here in the reference that from the upper from the lower receiver to the bottom receiver it does come out a little bit there is a little bit of texturing there so you want to follow that as closely as possible so we're just going to go from there we're going to extrude up and now comes an easy part what we need to do now is just take, make sure you're in vertex select, take these vertexes and just drag them down and over, or just down rather, so that they fit your mesh, or your reference image rather. <clears throat> so it looks like I should do a little bit on this area. Let's actually select all of these points right here. Let's rotate it a tad and then down. Maybe a little too much. There we go, that's not too shabby. Okay. Now you do see right here that there is an indentation that comes out just a little bit. Um, we're going to try and replicate that. So um, let's make, let's, let's try this. Let's make a loop cut here all the way down the handle. And let's move some of these points, oh, excuse me, all the way through move these points you can also press C to select and then click and then right click to, de to um, get rid of the tool and that will that will also select all the way through the mesh if you are on wireframe so just another helpful tip um, so again just go to C move this over maybe down a little bit <clears throat> Now for this part, because we have, um, we have, I don't want to add any more edge loops because that'll just add a, a few more unnecessary polys. We're actually just going to use the knife tool here. We're going to select from here to about there. And press enter. Actually, this is where we're going, we're going to start using the mirror modifier. So. Let's make a loop cut down the middle, like so. Just vertically along the entire thing, cutting it in half. And you're going to want to go to face select and select half of your model. And you're going to delete it. Now, with half of the model that you have, you're going to, want to go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and then go ahead and click on mirror. And then that's not what we want. So we're going to want to mirror it on the Y axis. And there we go. We have the perfect mirror of our gun. So from here, we can edit it just as we were, but it'll just do the same exact thing on the other side without us having to go there. So let's go back into here and we can go ahead and use that knife tool. Oh, whoops. Go ahead and use that knife tool right there. Press enter. And now we can click and drag these verts as we wish. And now I'm gonna make one more cut. few more cuts right about there and now I can do face select 
and just bring these actually no extrude them out just a little bit instead of actually extruding that top face I am only going to extrude these bottom faces and then I can go ahead and actually delete these two faces right there and go into vertice mode and select these three points on the edge here and press F to fill that in. Go ahead and do that here as well. And then these four points to make a quad right here, press F. There you go, you have it all filled in and you have your, <clears throat> your mark on the side. Okay, so now um, we're going to add a little bit of detail to this. By detail, I mean just get rid of the blockiness of this because, you know, it just looks like it was carved out of a wooden or metal block or whatnot. So what we're going to do is add a bit of a beveled edge to this. Well, we're going to start with the handle area and we'll work all the way around. So to add a beveled edge, um, what you're going to want to do, let's first of all, let's look at a reference and see where the edges need to be beveled. So especially on the handle area, so what we're going to want to do is go to the edge select and select all of the edges up the side of this handle up until about where is it up until about there that's about where the, the bubble edge stops on the handle and we can go ahead and select the opposite edge too up until about again check your reference so we can go ahead up until right there and now to bevel the edge you want to hit control B and then you want to drag and then it'll bevel in the edge just like so and there you go it's already looking better And now to add a little bit of roundness to the edge instead of having it flat, um, instead of just beveling it a lot, very easy way is just take this, um, this back edge right here, and all we're going to do is drag it out. That adds a bit of roundness to it, just like so. See that? So it's a bit more round. And now it's actually starting to look like a gun handle. So we'll do the same thing with this front edge. Let's not do that one. Let's drag this out just a little bit, and there we go. So now that's actually starting to look pretty decent. <clears throat> so you can do this with any hard corner that you know is not intended to be not intended to be hard or harsh. Um, just to make it look cleaner. So we can we can do this also with the trigger guard. I, I can hit um, shift alt and then um, and then right click and that'll select the entire loop of edges. So let me go ahead and select that too. Make sure no unnecessary edges are selected. Let's go ahead and deselect those top edges there. And then I can go ahead and then control B. And then because this is a small edge, I'm only going to bevel them slightly. <laughs> Excuse me. So there we go. That's starting to look a tad nicer. Okay. And uh, right now. I'm going to do All right, yeah. All right, so this is looking good for now. In the next episode, we're going to start working on detailing the upper receiver and the magazine portion. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or uh, any other tips or tricks that you would like to share, please leave them in the comments below. 
Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.